Okay, so here we are in Worcester Hall, the actually actually the seventh floor of Worcester Hall in Berkeley, California, and um, this is where I went to school. This this is this is I mean look around. This is what this was my life for four years uh, here at UC Berkeley. Now I didn't go to school to learn how to do online business um, or any sort of business at all, but there are a lot of things that I learned specifically in architecture school that I apply now in my everyday life, really. And the one thing I want to talk about is, is procrastination, really, and how to get rid of it and sort of what comes along with it. Because in architecture school, they sort of assign these big projects to, uh, these big projects to us that last you know, two or three months sometimes. And you know, by the end of the deadline, you'd have to have this entire project done and then present it in front of a, of a jury or a panel of other architects who would sort of then kind of see how you did or ju judge your work and, and, and give you recommendations and things like that. Now, two or three months is a really long time to work on a project, and a lot of people I know, including myself at the beginning, would say, you know what, that's a long time, I can do it later. And that's the worst thing you could ever do, especially with a big project like this. During my very first project, you know, we'd have two or three months to work on it. I didn't start working on it, really working on it, until maybe a month or even a couple weeks until the deadline. And as a result of all that time waiting, I was just scrambling, and I got a really bad review in my jury. Later I found out that that was absolutely the, the wrong way to, to go about it. I mean two weeks is a lot of time but when you have a project that should be you know two or three months long which I know a lot of us have projects that could potentially be two or three months long you know writing a book or putting up a blog post and launching it or creating a product or, or anything like that really you have to break it down into steps and what a lot of people did on their own was they created mini deadlines along the way so they would take that big goal and chunk it up into little goals and sort of work backwards, you know, start at the end and then, you know, a couple weeks before that, what, what do they need to have, a couple weeks before that, what do they need to have, all the way until to where you're at now. And then by then they would just know sort of where they were and if they were on track and if they weren't, they can hustle a little bit more, or stay overnight in studio, which we often did. Um, but it was funny because a lot of the people who seemed to work the hardest, you know, when we were all in the studio before our deadlines, uh, those that seemed to work the hardest typically were the ones that got the worst reviews. And it was because they were putting all that work in at the end. And the people who had already put that work in, you know, little by little over time, they weren't stressing at all. And they only had little things to do. And they could work on those even smaller things that would make their projects a little bit more perfect. And, and um, you know, they ended up getting better reviews as a result. So that's, that's something I learned in architecture school that I apply every day now. Boom.